I love this fabulous miniature and I'm going to try and make a ring out of it. Hey guys, last week I showed you how to take 3D models and, using nothing but free software, combine and alter them into something different. Well, today I'm going to be doing something similar. This fantastic Rat King creation is by our friends at Arch Villain Games and it's packed with personality and detail. The moment I saw it, I felt it would make a fabulous character ring. I'm only interested in the head, and whilst I could use Blender, like last week, my preference is for ZBrush. Now, it's not free, but I've tried Blender, and I've tried ZBrush, and ZBrush for me is simpler. But the choice is yours. It's important to note that I've spoken to Archville and Games and they are perfectly happy for any of their patrons to amend and alter their miniatures, as long as it's purely for personal use. So if you're thinking of taking their work, changing it a little and selling it to make a few bucks, contact them first and seek permission. A Rat King, if you didn't know, is supposedly a freak of nature, where the tails of two or more rats somehow get naturally stuck together. There's plenty of folklore around this, with tales of the collective mind of the rats being greater than the sum of its parts. To my fellow Star Trek fans, it's a bit like the Borg, but without the benefit of Seven of Nine. There's also folk tales about master rat catchers physically tying the tails of live rats together to create a rat king as a sort of rite of passage. To me, the idea seems a little cheesy. I know this ring won't suit many of you, but for me there's an ugly beauty about it. It's sort of grungy and, well, rat-like. There's very little symmetry to it, and that makes it more real to my mind. I'm not looking for perfectly smooth surfaces here, but rather something with a gnarly texture. I'm really liking that. I'm probably on my own, 
but I don't give a rat's hat. I'm using the same mystery resin I used in last week's video. This stuff isn't on the market yet, and I've been sent a bottle by the manufacturer to test it. Frankly, I'm really impressed with it. It prints very well and seems to show plenty of detail. Well there you go, a Rat King ring. From an amazing miniature by Archville and Games to a big and bulky ring. Despite its jagged appearance, I've made sure that everything's nice and smooth and nothing stabs the fingers. It's surprisingly comfortable, though big, yeah, definitely big. But I love it, it's different. And the mystery resin, once again, has done an amazing job. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Take care and thanks for watching.